As we continue to follow the violence on CTA trains, Chicago police are saying transit crime is down. But CBS 2's Tara Molina has been digging into the facts, and Tara, police aren't telling the whole story because the most violent types of crimes are actually up. Exactly, Erica. The worst crimes, violent crimes, all on a steady on a steady uptick over the years, including a pre-pandemic 2019. A murder on the red line near 79th Street over the weekend. A robbery early Tuesday on the red line near North Clybourne. Crime on our transit system continues. And while both the CTA and CPD say safety and security efforts are ramping up, they're also saying crime is down. Though there are single incidents happening, we're, we're significantly below 2019's pre-pandemic. Superintendent David Brown pushed specifically on CTA crime in a press conference Monday. Repeatedly, he said CTA crime is down. CTA crime compared to 2019 before the pandemic started is down 43 percent. Having tracked the crime, the uptick, and the city's response and non-response for months now, we wanted to look closer. How could CTA crime possibly be down with more and more violence reported every week? We found, yes, some crime is down. Take a look at what Chicago police just sent us. With 1,115 CTA crimes reported this year, there's a more than 40% drop from last year and pre-pandemic 2019. But included in those numbers, stuff like cell phone and purse thefts and pickpocketing. Theft numbers are way down. Violent crime is up since this time last year and during the pandemic. Aggravated assaults and aggravated batteries, those include shootings and stabbings, both up. So are criminal sexual assaults and homicides. Overall, a 9% uptick from violent crime in 2019. So we looked even closer. Where are those violent crimes happening? Most frequently on CTA trains based on the crime data with 233 violent crimes reported on trains so far this year. Now, of course, we reached the CTA following up with them on all of this, but unfortunately, their media team hasn't responded to any of my requests or any of our questions today or yesterday. We'll continue to check in with them. For now, reporting live downtown, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tara.